it's important to look at how I, the idea of the world has shifted, especially in the geographic imagination of Europe, because with 1492, uh, we get a shift in the understanding of the world. There's a creation of a new map. But prior to 1492, the world in the European imagination was three continents, Europe, Asia, Africa, and in the center is Jerusalem. And this is important to, to, to recognize in particular because Europe and Asia are not two continents. They're, they're one great landmass called Eurasia. But in the European imagination, Europe is its own place, it's its own continent. And so it has created this division uh, Europe, Asia, and Africa. And actually this map is um, a, a replica of it, even though it's from 1581, shortly after 1492. And you can tell because there's this blob of territory down here, which is us, of uh, which they would call the Americas. It didn't fit into the world map, uh, but the center of the world as Jerusalem is still persistent in the European imagination and in particular in the Zionist imagination. There's a replica of this map in Jerusalem, in West Jerusalem, um, that, that was erected as small tiles um, by the Zionist movement. So important to know sacred kind of geography and how different it is if we just look uh, at a contemporary map that shows Jerusalem. This is a proposed state of Palestine. It's, uh, there's no state of Palestine. This is a proposed state of Palestine with Jerusalem as its capital. And it doesn't look so sacred there. Um, it's got the same font size as Tel Aviv and Amman. And so it's really difficult to, in using this kind of map, which is the, the dominant map, kind of the only way that we really are introduced to maps today, it's, it's important to understand that this takes away from an understanding of a sacred place. Jerusalem is not just sacred for Europeans, for Christians, and Europeans have mapped Christianity onto uh, European identity since the beginning. It's also an important sacred place for Judaism, as we know, and of course, Islam. And so when we hear about Jerusalem, and with this question of Palestine, it's really important to understand that uh, Jerusalem is not just any place. Palestinians have been guardians of Jerusalem, allowing Jews, Christians, Muslims, everyone of, of, of their faiths to coexist, which has had been also the case in Europe, uh, especially in the Iberian Peninsula on the eve of 1492, but 1492 then ethnically cleansed Jews and Muslims from the Iberian Peninsula to create this idea of Europe. So um, important to understand then that this doesn't really get at, at this question of Jerusalem. So um, if you notice, it's not really discussed, but um, Al-Aqsa, we are in a situation right now where we need to recognize how important Al-Aqsa is for the Palestinian movement, the role of Islam, a lot of our movements tend to secularize Palestine, but on the ground, it's it's not very it's not secular. It's very spiritual, and that doesn't mean that this is you know not about religion. It is about religion. I think that often we say that because we don't want to uh, be understood as saying that X religion is wrong and Y religion is correct. No, um, it is about religion, and it's not about pick about us picking which religion is correct. Um, but it is still a very spiritual struggle as 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 it is material.